Hey guys, it's Uncle Doug. Hey, uh, proud to show you our new bum 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 hammer mill. God provided, and we're gonna get it wired up with the electrician tomorrow and show you how this thing works. Today, I'm gonna take the top off and change the screen uh, because of our suggestions. Uh, instead of welding the screen on, they're making multiple replaceable screens like this that we can swap in what we need. And we just got to take take the bolts off here and here. And then I got to lift this thing with the forklift because even though it looks small, it's still a couple hundred pounds. So anyway, uh, more in a minute when we get in there, I want to show you. Bye. All right. Hey, guys, this is Doug again. Uh, we're working on the hammer mill. Uh, got the top lifted up with a forklift. It's a couple hundred pounds, and uh, digging into the guts of the thing, at my request, they made replaceable screens. This is a screen. That's a 3 8 inch screen right there. It's an inch, inch thick steel, and uh, that's what the hammer mills pound on, and you get this kind of stuff. Uh, this is mostly steel. They ran some little motors. There's little little bits of uh, copper in there and uh, just nice little balls of copper you can separate out from the steel we'll run a magnet over it anyway they ran some uh, motors before they shipped it to me and they jam up between the the armor that goes on the sides and the screen that slide that goes in here it jams up in between and there was no way to just slide the screen out at least no amount of banging and hammering that we could get to get it to slide up and out. Plus, we had all this in the hammer mill, and that made it harder. But um, uh, anyway, there's some more residue in there, stuff that hasn't come down the chute yet. Uh, you can see there. Anyway, I shot backed it out to clean up uh, these this this shelf here where the the two inch. This is the two inch one that'll allow us bigger discharge. That's the safety chute there. It goes on top anyway. So we're gonna get the big, the two inch in there and run it. And uh, since I have to take off the top, this plate that holds the thing in and the side armor, it's really not something that's a lot of fun. But I'm hoping we can figure something out to where this the the side armor doesn't have to come off i would say a bead of weld that would cover that gap carefully placed might last for a while or some i don't know what i don't know what we can put in there that'll keep the metal from jamming in there but uh it's kind of a problem so anyway uh more later this is the 16 by 12 hammer mill from mountain baker mining llc with 15 inch horse three phase motor. We're gonna get it wired up here to our electrical and uh, have it running in a day or so. So anyway, more later, bye. Hey guys, it's Uncle Doug. I'm here with the hammer mill uh, doing some video. Here it is. We're gonna be running doorknobs. I'm yelling because I got ear protection. We've ran a few already. You can kind of see some output there. I'm going to flip it on and it's going to get real loud. We're going to run the doorknobs and show you the output and how we sort it and get the brass out. So I'm going to come over here and hit the big on switch and off we go.
it's winding down. You don't want to get your hand in there. And he brings me another one right on time. Uh, I'm going to grab a magnet hunk. Ooh, that was sticky. I have a hunk of magnet here. I got grease on it. There we go. Sort this out. Some place here. And uh, basically, we're just going to run the magnet through, grab everything that's steel, put it in a steel one. If it looks like there's brass still hanging on to it, that's all steel. Uh, then we'll uh, run it through again, liberate the brass. Sorry, I'm leaving my magnet off here. But, like, that's die cast. Uh, this piece here is all steel there. That one looks like brass, but it's still got a uh, chunk of something in the middle, see? So, a piece of brass is probably got to get run through again. There we go. So we're just going to clean this out, and I'll show you how much brass is left. Okay, guys. Here we are. This is uh, the bottom of the box. We got about probably three pounds of brass, maybe two pounds of die cast. And over here is the pieces that didn't behave. Uh, this one can run through again, or I could probably hit it with a hammer, pop that little O-ring off, and get this to let go. Uh, these are aluminum. And these... Uh, it's a barrel in the middle is brass, but this one still has a little piece in there, but if I hand it to Bill and he whacks it, probably that center piece will come out. So, overall, this is the only stuff right here that didn't uh, behave. All of this came clean, balled up the little brass doorknobs, but there's no metal in them, uh, no uh, magnetic metal. And this is ready to go. It, it took... Uh, I could have fed them through the hammer mill a lot faster if I wasn't filming, and out comes a pretty good output, and it took, you know, two minutes to sort it. So if we had a ton of these, I would be real happy. Um, anyway, so that one's got a little bit of die cast on the end, but the whole rest of it's brass, so I think they'll take it like that. Anyway, that's all. You get a chance to see how it's working. Thanks. Bye. So what is that like? Copper? Or Good also? idea. Supposed to be. We're gonna go see. Just a minute. Sorry. I'm going to peel all this. What's in it? Look at this. What was it? A doorknob? No, no, it was a uh, several different things. TV yoke? It might. It is warm a little bit. 
I love your hand. Well, I hammer my hand off. Let's get a new bucket. Um, or here, let's leave this one. Patrick, put that bucket back up. We're gonna eventually get that one out. It doesn't seem to be walking around too much. I thought it would. Oh, it would get. Yeah, let's flip it on. Let's show me which one we're on here. Where did it have to flip it? It's off the breaker box. Okay. Clog it up. Did that clog it up? I don't know. I don't know. We stay in mind, so we're gonna wait. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I would. I don't know. That's right. Don't think it works, man. Don't think it works. Don't think it works. Don't think it works. Here we are at the hammer mill today. We're running blender, which is a using our smart power duet. Probably a seventy dollar thing here. Thank you. 